today we will discuss about the epithelial tissue and first of all you must know that what is the literal meaning of the word epithelial actually epithelial is composed of two words one is known as the epi and another is known as the thelia epi means what upon upon and thelia means growth it means epithelial tissue grows upon another tissue that's why it is called as epithelial epi means upon thelia means growth in a couple of minutes you will see that a epithelial tissue grows upon connective tissue hence we can say it as it is a tissue which grows upon another tissue okay now you must also know that this term epithelium was first of all introduced by presented by a scientist known as Ryush. Okay, Ryush was a scientist who first of all presented or introduced the term epithelium. Okay, and one more thing that this epithelium forms outer lining of the body. It forms outer lining of the body. You can see that the many organs, okay, or we can say it as our skin and all are actually covered by a protective lining. Okay, and that is called as the epithelium. So I can say that epithelium forms outer lining of the body. Of course, it is lining the outer part of the body as well as it is lining the internal organs and hence it is a covering tissue. Means the another name of the epithelial tissue is the covering tissue. Why? Because it covers either the, uh, either the body or it covers the internal organs. Hence, it is called as a covering tissue. Again, epithelial forms either the outer lining of the body or it forms the lining of the internal organs. Hence, it is called as a covering tissue. Okay, that is what is a covering tissue means what? This tissue faces either a body fluid. This tissue faces either a body fluid means it is facing either the body fluid or it is facing the outside environment. Or it is facing the outside environment and thus it provides a covering or a lining okay this tissue faces either some body fluid or it faces the outside environment and thus it provides a covering or we can say it as a lining okay now this is the tissue which is having the power of regeneration this is the tissue which is having great power of regeneration okay and uh, if we talk about the embryonic stages, then during the during the embryonic development, epithelium is the tissue which develops first. During the embryonic development, epithelium develops first. Okay, and now you must also know that epithelium originates from which embryonic layer. So remember that epithelium arises from ectoderm, but this is not true for all the epithelial tissues okay epithelium arising from the ectoderm means our skin is also covered by epidermis so i can say that skin epidermis originates from right ectoderm now if i talk about the silomic epithelium now what is silomic epithelium means uh, silomic epithelium is lining the silomic cavity or the silom so the silomic epithelium is actually originated from the mesoderm layer and the gut epithelium what is gut elementary canal so the elementary canal epithelium or the gut epithelium is lined by endoderm so in many books you will see that it will be written that epithelium arises from the ectoderm of course it can arise from ectoderm but there are various type of the epitheliums which can arise from mesoderm as well as endoderm so again I am repeating that epithelium arises from ectoderm say for the example is skin, skin epidermis silomic epithelium arises from the mesoderm and the gut epithelium arises from the endoderm okay and just now we have said that epithelium tissue is a tissue which grows upon another tissue so you must remember this thing that epithelial tissue is a tissue which rests upon the underlining connective tissue means below the below the epithelium right what is present 
a connective tissue is present. Hence, we can say it as that this tissue grows upon a another tissue. Now, the epithelium cells are compactly packed. The key feature of the epithelium tissue is that that the cells of this tissue, right, are very much compactly packed with little or no intercellular spaces or the matrix. Okay, so again I am repeating epithelium tissues are having the cells which are compactly packed means I want to say that there are no, uh, no intercellular spaces or if intercellular spaces are present then we can say it is very little intercellular spaces are present between the cells. Okay, now due to absence of or due to little intercellular spaces due to absence of intercellular spaces the blood vessels remember this thing the blood vessels and the lymph vessels and the capillaries are unable to pierce this tissue why because intercellular spaces are absent right so the blood vessels and the lymph vessels and the capillaries will not able to pierce in this tissue so the blood circulation is absent now if blood circulation is absent in the epithelium now the question arises then the cells of the epithelial tissue will be provided by the nutrients by which tissue so remember this thing that blood circulation is absent in this epithelium so cell depends for the nutrients on the underlying connective tissue we know very well just below the epithelial tissue connective tissue is present so the connective tissue will provide the nutrients to the cells of the epithelial tissue why because epithelial tissue cells are not having any intercellular spaces and hence the blood vessels as well as the lymph vessels and the capillaries cannot pierce the epithelial tissue so the nutrients are provided by the underlying connective tissue right and that's why we can say it as that the blood vessels and the lymph vessels and the blood supply is totally absent in the epithelial tissue that's why it is called as a avascular tissue a means what absent vascular means this blood circulation is absent in them so we can say it is avascular tissue it is a avascular tissue uh, epithelial tissue is avascular tissue now the very important thing is that between epithelium and connective tissue now if i talk about see above is the epithelial tissue and just below the epithelial tissue is the connective tissue so in between in between the epithelial tissue say for if this is the epithelial tissue and this is the connective tissue so in between the epithelial tissue and the connective tissue a thin non-living a thin non-living acellular layer is present a thin non-living acellular layer is present known as the basement membrane known as the basement membrane which is highly permeable which is highly permeable again i am repeating between the epithelial tissue and the connective tissue a thin non-living acellular basement membrane is present okay which is highly permeable okay now this basement membrane this basement membrane consists of how many layers it is itself having how many layers two layers one is known as the basal lamina one is known as the basal lamina another is known as the fibrous lamina clear basement membrane which is present in between the epithelium and the connective tissue has two layers basal lamina and fibrous lamina now this basal lamina is towards the epithelium it is towards the epithelium see basement membrane is present at the center here is the epithelial tissue here is the connective tissue so the basal lamina is present towards the epithelial tissue and remember this is made up of the glycoprotein and it is secreted by the epithelial cells only it is secreted by the epithelial cells okay and the fibrous lamina why fibrous lamina why it is called as the fibrous lamina because it consists of fibers so it is present towards the connective tissue fibrous lamina is present towards the connective tissue so this is the basement membrane okay so towards the epithelium right is present the basal lamina and towards the connective tissue towards means below towards the connective tissue is present the fibrous lamina and in which what are present collagen fibers and reticular fibers are suspended in it 
So collagen fibers in which collagen fibers and reticular fibers are suspended in mucopolysaccharide, in mucopolysaccharide, which is the matrix of the connective tissue. Matrix or the ground substance of the connective tissue is the mucopolysaccharide in which are suspended collagen fibers and reticular fibers. Okay. So uh, the above concept says and suggests that the basement membrane that the basement membrane is secreted both by the epithelium and the connective tissue okay and the matrix of the connective tissue known as the mucopolysaccharide is present in the form of hyaluronic acid again i am repeating the matrix of the connective tissue known as the mucopolysaccharide in which the collagen and the reticular fibers are suspended is actually present in the form of hyaluronic acid okay so we have discussed a part of the epithelial tissue today okay this was a part one in the coming videos we'll be discussing some important points regarding the epithelial tissue so wait for the part two we'll be releasing soon Thanks a lot for watching me.